In Logic, you can automate almost all the controls on a channel strip, including volume, pan, and plugin parameters. What we'll do now is we'll draw and edit offline automation to make a sound effect rise in volume during a pre chorus, and then record live automation to pan a sound effect left and right during a break. Drawing automation graphically is known as offline automation. So let's head towards the effects track stack. This one here. And there's a guitar scratch effect somewhere down here. Or did I miss it? There it is. Select it and that's cool so the region contains a reverberated and distorted rhythmic guitar scratch actually I think it's yes it is that one uh, that is a constant level and is panned to the center so what we'll do is we'll apply some volume automation to make the sound effect slowly ramp up in volume throughout the pre-chorus or throughout the uh, pre-2 bit here. So in the track uh, view menu bar, if we just press A on our keyboard, we turn the automation on, zoom in a little bit. And in the tracks area, if we just make it a little bit bigger then we can see we can see here there's some automation been drawn in looks like that's been drawn in live so we'll see here we have where it says read that's our automation mode pop-up menu read touch latch right trim and relative then we have here our automation uh, parameter pop-up sorry do apologize that's the automated uh, automation parameter pop-up and here where it says track that's our automation button where we can turn automation on and off and select between track and region so if i make sure it's turned on you'll see there it says volume so we're going to automate the volume and currently we've got an em this empty volume automation curve because there's no automation going on so if I just click anywhere, I turn on the volu volume automation, which currently is at zero. There's the fader, and there's nothing happening before. So we can effectively bring that all the way down, start from a zero point. And if I just click before, I create uh, an automation uh, node. So I just create one there and then click somewhere here and we'll sort of ramp it up to about there and we'll have a little bit let's follow the bar so we'll, we'll have so I'm just clicking to create these nodes and you can double click to deselect them again drag that bit down so it'll rise in volume to that point hold that volume and then drop again let's have a listen to that if I wanted to make that curve what I can do is I can control so press control and shift and I get this automation curve tool and it allows me to put a little bit of a bend in the automation so let's do that and let's put a little bit of a bend here Oops. there that looks better let's have a listen Secrets will eat you if you let them defeat you know you might as well just be who you are turn your life that's a bit better. Drawing automation curves offline like that, like we just did, is a good option when you know in advance the automation movements that you want to achieve. 
but sometimes you want to hear the song playing as you adjust the channel strip or plug in control in real time. To record live automation, we need to choose a live automation mode for the track. And then, as we start playback, we can tweak the desired plugin or channel strip setting. So this time we're going to head off towards something called Bollywood Vocal Chop, which is track 66. This one here, Bollywood Vocal Chop. And let's find it in the track. Which is this bit here so let's select press U solo zoom in have a listen perfect and here in our Autom uh, automation parameter click volume because this time we are going to automate the pan so let's choose pan and we just go to we click absolute and you can see the pan function appears obviously there's no automation just yet it's turned off I need to turn it on and have we got any automation in there already no we haven't if we had automation already and let's say we wanted to delete it we can go to mix and up here you'll see the automation parameters and we can delete automation if we need to so what we're going to do is rather than use read we're going to use touch so while you're in touch mode any existing automation on the track is read as if logic was in read mode so as soon as you hold down the mouse button on a knob or slider then logic starts recording new values and when you release the mouse button touch mode behaves like read mode again and the automation curve returns to its original value you'll see that working now so let's have a go at adding some pan and I'm going to automate this function here the pan function so here we go let's try again <laughs> there we are and we can see now we've got a a nice curve if I wanted to delete that we go to mix delete automation and let's have another go and there is my pan automation Oh, he's a 